I have crippling depression. Hey y'all, it's Fuzzy. We're doing Soma and we're looking for that structure gel. I thought my eyes were broken, but the game's textures haven't loaded properly. Look how smooth that door is. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's back. But those haven't, so I can't read it. <laughs> the door texture loaded. Yeah, it just like sucks his hand in. <laughs> disgusting. Oh, a computer. Can you move? I want your computer. There we go. Oh, why didn't you just move it? Johan Ross was found dead on climate this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda S. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress, and it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Interesting, so the WoW is becoming hand. sentient. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. What? That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Um... Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Huh? Did her head just explode? Is that what happened? Did everyone's heads just freaking blow up? Someone's food! They never got to eat it! Also, why is it still in, like, perfect condition? What are they putting in these? Now is the part of the game where I get turned in circles and keep going past the same answer five times. There's just bodies in here, so I'm gonna leave them. Please don't move. I thought it opened. I thought it, like, reopened, but it just clicked into place. Let's see. What the? I thought it's... I thought it said something. I mean, the stairs are- this is not where the stairs are. The stairs are just over here, so... Might as well go check downstairs. I've been everywhere up here. Because I don't know why my eyeballs are doing it. They're just flipping out. I really hate how there's no music. It's just dead silence. It's stressing me out. A lot. That's not the sound cue I wanted. That's creepy ambience. I want, like, background music. Like normal video games have. Clean room. Is it very clean? Uh, structure gel? What is that? Oh, it's doll. Interesting. Alright, doll, what were you hiding? This... Oh, it's not broken! Ross and the WoW confirmed a correlation between the overloaded system and systems and the corpse of Dr. Ross. I was able to shield off the corpse into the glass jar for a couple of seconds and witnessed a massive drop in the readings. If we really have to keep Ross inside Omicron, I suggest finding a way to erect a permanent barrier to avoid severe system malfunctions. Ross recharging WoW is definitely repairing Ross's corpse. It's the most insane thing I have ever encountered. So how the WoW primarily relegated to the structure gel inside the walls is bombarding the corpse with every system it can access. The glass jar is surrounded by an unhealthy amount of electromagnetism and radiation, which seems to be instructing gel already stuck inside Ross's body. Not sure what the WoW expects to happen when it's restored, but at least all the crazy should stop when the body hits 100%. Do I have to go to Ross's body to get the structure gel? I don't want to go there. What if he's at 100%? What if he's, like, functioning? I don't want to deal with whatever that entails. It'd be horrifying. Okay, so this room had nothing for me except now I know that Ross's undead corpse might be walking around. Wait, wait, what? No. Oh, it's doing that. It's doing that. It's a lab. Okay, I thought I got stuck. It's good. We're good. Everything's good. We're not dead. Yet. I thought I heard a noise, like a groan. 
I am also definitely hearing someone groan. Structure gel, that's what I need. Open. No! I am not gonna read these. Put that on there, stick it in there. Press that button. Accidentally knock over a tray and then put some gel on it. That That's enough. That's enough gel. Now it's goopy. Is it gonna work? Perfect. The game saved. That means something's gonna come out and try to kill me. What the? Oh my gosh. That. Um, no. That scared me a lot. Oh, this is what I've been hearing. And that's the mechanical breathing I've heard. Where's the dive room again? Where am I? Dive room. Here we go. Here we go. What was that? See, I knew it. I knew it. Something was gonna show up. It's the thing from the power room. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's horrifying. Now it's time for evil hide and seek again. Babe, you good? What am I saying? Of course she's not good. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna you close that door. When I click on it, that's a wall. And I scared myself half to death with the wall. <laughs> ah, no! No, 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 I now know the meaning of fear. Oh gosh, he just shoved it in there, didn't this is he? Crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Now what? Let's pour it on. Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Oh yeah, he's just pouring it on. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. Okay. Shoot, is she gonna come alive? I can't believe we're doing this. Uh. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna suggest that if you refused. Oh. You go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it. Change body. Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank okay. You. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. How? Oh, that's how. Now it's long. What do you want from me? I did it. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Okay. Ready? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. It's like having a picture taken. But okay. With the most expensive camera in the world. You know. Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of funny. They're not wrong. Oh, I'm in the suit. I'm in another dead woman's body. That's fun. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. Oh gosh, there's what two now. That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this? <laughs> Please stop. You're f <laughs> disgusting. Simon! What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this f***ing <laughs> nightmare again? All alone? Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? you do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. That's fair. Simon did just yell at her. That was, oh man, that was kind of sketch, hearing him talk while controlling the other one. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't want to kill him. But I feel like Simon would want to, but like, I, I'm going to leave him. He'll wake up. He'll find a way to survive or something. I don't know. He can do it. He's Simon. He'll be fine. And I'm not going to kill him. I've already taken too many robot lives in this game. 
and I already feel really bad about it, so I'm leaving him alone. Also, poor Kathy, she was- she's like a- she's digital, but she was like about to cry. I mean, like, like, I'd probably cry if the person I'd gone through the apocalypse with chewed me out and started yelling at me and calling me disgusting. Simon, I understand you're stressed, but you gotta be nicer to your peers. I understand why it's called the abyss now. Oh, uh, lever. There we go. I'm still kind of mad at how mean he was to Kathy about that. It wasn't her fault he didn't understand the situation. Really sad. Luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. It's a redundant copy. He'll never experience my journey, the full journey. He wouldn't understand. How could he? I couldn't do it. And you knew it. You were right in trying to hide it from me. I only wish you'd done a better job. Wow, Simon. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? There's no waking up in the right body. But you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. They're both the right Simon. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist's brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are? Or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. If we make it to the ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends, no family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have- Kathy? Kathy, no! Oh yeah, we're just swaying in the abyss. Oh. Hey, I know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. Think it could be the atmospheric pressure. Okay. Just- does time freeze when you're not powered? Time is emitted when you're emitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. Rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. I'll be the worst. <laughs> And with that, that is all the time we have for today. I want to make sure no more important dialogue happens. Thank y'all for coming to hang out. This has been Soma. Simon has had yet another existential crisis, and he made Kathy almost cry, but she's a robot, so she can't. Simon, I'm mad at you. Anyway, y'all stay awesome. Fuzzy, out. You, you gonna break my